Hello everybody, are you ready for another adventure? I'm still here, this is Nux, uh, spelled with a K-N, just because I saw a few people calling me with just N-U-X, but it's okay. So let's get into today's Fago video, slash not so Fago video. So, a future video is going to come up where my brother would be talking about what happens in the month of November. But I'm gonna break that little rule myself because he said I had free reigns and whatever I wanted to do, I can do it. So, I'm gonna be doing something special because uh, it's a special thing. This is the upcoming event for November. It's the Caldea Fairy Night Cup. Now, this isn't what we're gonna look at today. Today we're gonna look at the summoning campaign specifically because... I have a little challenge I wanted to do. So this challenge is going to involve me cutting uh, away from this into some gameplay, but we'll get there when we get there. So this is Brit Omart. Uh, she's going to be on Raid Up, uh, coming very soon technically, and I want to do three multis at least, but there is a little challenge I wanted to do, and that challenge is going to involve this game I'm going to be playing right now on this one and only Fright Night with Nux. Monkey? <laughs> and here we're back. Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to actually be playing Binding of uh, Isaac Re uh, Rebirth a Repentance. But I'm playing on my brother's file so I know he doesn't have many things unlocked. So here's today's challenge. So... Sadly, he does not have my character unlocked, and technically I'd be playing him right now, but it looks like Isaac will just do. So, my challenge for today is, I'm going to be playing The Binding of Isaac, but with the caveat, when I take a full heart of damage, I will indeed be doing one additional summon. And if I manage to die, which will probably happen due to me being just base Isaac, I will have to do an additional multi. Now, this is going to probably sound like the most idiotic thing you've heard of, but I wanted to do it, so I'm doing it. Now, I'm very used to Isaac, but I'm not used to the fact that I do not have the things I am comfortable with, like Blue Baby's Blue Hearts, his one turn cooldown poop that gives him an additional fly to play with. Which is a very big DPS up, because normally Blue Baby starts out with extra damage. We're gonna go into the the item room and we're gonna get Stigmata, which is not too bad. I will. It's actually better than most. Well, let's get into this. Uh, I'm rocking with basically no mods today. It's gonna be very tough for me, but I should make do. The external item description will definitely help me if I need it. But at the same time, this game is very loud. That is a half heart. That is not the greatest. But if I manage to supply myself with an HP before this heart runs out, I will at least not have to do one additional summon. So I'm going to at least try a little bit here. If I was doing this, I would basically be going all the way to the chest. But since my brother does not even have the Polaroid or the negative unlock, I will be doing this all the way to Mother. Which should be fun in its own right. But playing as just Isaac is a little bit tough because uh, I do not get the caveat of having the D6 and rolling items I just cannot take because they would be detrimental. Okay, let's go down. I think that is a tinted rock right there. Two keys. Not bad. Okay. I hate these enemies, mostly just because they just run away, but it's fairly easy to take care of those. I should probably go into the shop just to check if there's anything I want to take. I think Spider Mod would be nice, just to know how much damage I'm doing. Now, I don't know if you know this, but unlike my brother, I really love The Binding of Isaac. Uh, I really like the roguelite. Uh, terms of gameplay in general. I just bought basically Vampire Survivors after the videos we made about it. Which the next one should be coming soon, but you know. 
Let's see, I do not want Mother's Pill Bottle just because I am not playing a character that would be beneficiary to just take pills with. That's a good, that's one Soul Heart and Luck Up. But I will go in with, the, I'm going with the wind, really. Hopefully my brother isn't in Las Vegas and playing, trying to play a game knowing that I'm on his PC playing on his account. It's kind of funny. But I will ask him later if I interfered with anything. Let's get into the first boss. We have the Gemini. A fairly simple boss, to be honest. So if... I have also decided to change it up with the music for a little bit. Something Halloween-y, but also more... Taste. More towards my taste. Let's just say it. Me and my brother both have different ways to vibe. And my vibes are eerie, ominous music, or just anything that sounds funky. And we have him in the infinite. <laughs> well, that is good because I do not want to deal with that guy. We unlock the cellar. My brother's gonna be so happy when he doesn't play this game and goes to the cellar. On to the next floor. Basement 2, do we have a curse? No, we do not. That is good. Okay, we have a champion enemy. I should take... A... Okay, he's good. I do not want to be attacked by champion enemies more so because of the fact I take a full heart once I get hit by them. Okay. Recently, this happened to me uh, basically yesterday. My A key fell out of my uh, laptop, so I was unable to play some Isaac that day. It was very uh, detrimental to me trying to do this video tomorrow. Just because I wanted at least a little bit of extra practice so I can dodge these dudes more efficiently. But now that I know, I'm not going to worry about the wound too much. Okay. I feel like I should be rushing to the bosses and trying to get this little challenge I made over with, but I feel like that's just not fun. So I will try and full clear stages when I can, unless I am very dire on health. At the same time, do I risk staying, keeping this uh, run alive and getting more hearts just to run the risk of me having to do an additional summon on Brittle Mart? Which I won't mind, but it is quite a lot to take on if I do not make enough ports. I would be buying more to make it, make the quota, basically. And would I want to take a full summon just to go in a curse room? That is crazy. I never thought about that, but good thing I never went into a curse room. Got a tinted rock right here. I'm gonna be checking out that, um, shop because I have enough to buy something. Okay, there's my item room. I've been looking for it. My brother's keyboard feels very nice to play this game on. This is not what I'm used to, which is usually just a laptop. But my my laptop's pretty good. Ugh. Okay. Euphoria. Not bad. Euphora, or whatever. Let's go to the boss now. I think we full cleared basically. I do not want panic button. <laughs> Just Monstro. This seems a little simple. I am very good on health. I think I'll be doing devil deals. But I'm not taking the devil deals, me losing HP in total, as taking damage. It is just a deal. I give up red hearts to get more utility. It's nothing like taking damage. If I find dead cat though, I'm not going to take it. And if you're asking why, it's because it is nine extra lives. And in some cases, it is just a win. There we go. There's a devil room. Speedball. Not too bad. There we go. Backstabber and Blood Oath. I'll take Black's Backstabber. Oh, I unlocked Krampus. Okay. Let's go. 
We're making good progress here, folks. Good progress. Normally, I'd have my brother here to give me some back and forth so I don't feel too inclined to uh, talk too much. Well, that is one summon right there. That is one on the tally mark. I have it in internal in my head. One summon. Safety cap, not bad. It will give me a chance to try out some of these pills we have laying around. We got some Nancy bombs. Not bad, not bad. But I lost one soul heart. That means a lot to me because I do not want to be doing some summons more than I should because of me having to go for like three different units at the end of this year. My brother will go over them eventually. I'm not doing sacrifice room. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. No, there we go. Getting a backstab in makes it so they take damage over time, and that is very good. Hopefully this game is not too loud for you guys, it is not loud for me, it is just right. Okay. Getting to it. Um, the Eraser is definitely something I want to be taking here. Just for the utility I can get rid of some stupid enemies. careful here. These are not too annoying, but not being able to do too much damage is making them annoying. I will be deciding if I want to use it soon. In fact, I think I will. There we go. Now they will not show up for the rest of the run, which I think is beneficial to me. Paralysis. Well, at least no one is in this room for that matter. Big fatty, or mega fatty. That is one half. That is not good. Come on. You know you want to do it. Oh. There's two summons so far. Okay. We we're getting to the, the stage where I'm going to be doing a lot of summons. But as long as I am dodging some of these poop throws, I'll be fine. I think he's almost gonna be dead here. He is dead. And we get another double deal. And we immediately get Krampus. Now this is not good just because I am not I am going to probably die to Krampus. Just because I do not have much utility here. But it's okay. If this cuts the video in half, I will not mind it. I at least get a lump of coal for my troubles? Yeah! That is a good DPS up if I do say so myself. Let's go into the next floor. Not looking too good for me. I'm already doing uh, four summons in total. No wait, three summons. Three on top of my... The only reason it's a true problem is because I will be going into my tickets if I do not uh, basically win this run. Like, fully. And then I'll, but to be fair, it's the risk I put and it's the risk I need to take. I hate these guys. <laughs> Let's get rid of them. Luck up, tears down. I mean, not bad. Not the greatest. the boss already, but I do need to go back to find my secret room. Unforge. I'm glad I avoided that guy, because I would have been taken a full heart if I got hit by him. Do I want to go look for this item room? Yes, I do. I hate this room so much. Oh my god. If my item room's over there, I'm going to have to 
pass through those guys. Which I'm just worried I'm gonna screw up because, uh... There's something at stake here. Normally I'm not worried about that room. <laughs> These guys are annoying too. There's one half. That is another summon. My hands are tensing up. That is almost another summon. Can I get a uh, balls of steel? That does nothing for me. Those guys got uh, erased. Hmm. Maybe this is a balls of steel. I'm drowsy. I'm drowsy is not too bad. Hmm. Forgot I had Nancy bombs. Oh, if I get another uh, little penny, I can. Get that soul heart, which will be beneficial for protecting this last red heart. Locked up. Lock up. There we go. And that's what I needed. So, the chances of my item room is down is definitely what it's looking like. But I will at least have some insurance right now. For now, though. Let's see. Maybe it's over here. Oh, I'm in the room. Okay. Just these bats. Okay. There's my item room. I'm saved. For now. Okay. That is horrible. I risked my life for a curse of tower. Let's move on. Um, not bad. He is a little annoying, but this is a devil deal if I manage to live. That is one more summon. Ooh. That is two more summons. This is all falling downhill, and I'm dead. That is one more multi plus. I believe that was about. Um, was that seven additional summons? I will look over the footage to get a solid number count for that, but it happens. In all honesty, I'm not too bad, mad about it, but this is my one night to do this, so I am glad I did it because there's not many times I get to show off Isaac and I just wish he had the character I wanted to play because it made taking those shots matter more than playing with Isaac but at the same time I'm not too sad about it so it looks like I'm doing a additional multi plus a couple singles coming in that Brittle Mart video that I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing Thank you for sticking around if you did, remember to like and subscribe to my brother's channel, he really does all of the good, um, all of the good Fogo uh, new stuff, he tries to keep himself on top of everything. Uh, what else does he do? He does do, uh, the, sh the mod, no, not, not the modcast, not anymore, um, what is it called? Shonen Archive, he does that too. Remember to check out Shonen Archive when he uploads it. 13 Nights of Halloween is still coming, so be sure to look into that stuff too. I might show up in a couple, just in the background, or sometimes just playing with them. And with that, I will see you around. 
We'll see you around. Thank you for watching this wonderful right night with Nux. Thank you. So, dude, you want some M&Ms? Yeah, sure, bro. Ooh, you lied. Ooh. Help my son! Son, have you seen my son anywhere? I can't find my son!